Hello my beautiful fashionistas, welcome back to Yvonne Winnie for UG. In this video, we are inspired by this beautiful blazer or jacket or coat that has no collar. And without any further ado, let us start the video. So I have my Ankara fabric. This is what I have. I will be lining it because it's not so heavy. I have my front this is the front and i also have my back piece they are all folded into two according to the hip measurement divided by four so the front has one and a half inches and that is for the button allowance the front has a button and as i've said the width is according to the hip measurement plus the allowances then the length is about 26 inches from the top plus um, the hemming allowance just half an inch so i'm going to start my markings from up there and from there i marked 10 and a half inches for the bust line 16 and a half for the waistline and the full length so now guys i'm going to start by marking down the shoulder measurement half of it is seven and a half plus half an inch for adding the sleeves then because i have a shoulder that um, i added one inch and also i added just a quarter inch for ease allowance so i'm marking this down on top here nine and a quarter inches and at that point i go down by one inch which is the shoulder slant so the neckline width i worked with three inches and the back neckline depth is just one inch the front will be marked later so it is a curved neckline as you see and from that three inches of neckline width i'm connecting to the one inch shoulder slant and right away i just mark half an inch for the sewing allowance at the shoulder so guys my chalk is not so so well but please uh, follow with whatever i'm explaining so whatever i have at the shoulder i have to make sure it's what i have here to form a chest line so that is the chest line now so from this one inch shoulder slant i'm going to mark half of the armhole measurement which in this case is eight inches but since this is a jacket i was like let me just add a quarter inch for ease it shouldn't be very very tight because sometimes you can have more clothes inside so this line also i'm going to get its midpoint which is about four and one bar <laughs> four inches and one bar and then just curve out the armhole like this so i decided to just use this back armhole since this is a jacket but if you want it uh, you can manipulate it more and mark the back armhole separately and the front armhole separately so this shoulder slant guys from the neckline width to the shoulder i'm getting its midpoint to mark the shoulder dart so after getting its midpoint i'm also getting the nipple to nipple measurement of this person which is eight inches dividing it by two i get four four plus half an inch since we are marking directly onto the fabric and now i'm going on marking four and a half inches forming a straight line so from the center back which is the uh, the piece that is on top I've marked four and a half inches along the bust line, waist line, and the full measurement, and I've connected the line into the shoulder like that. So along the waist line, guys, I'm marking half an inch on either side so that I connect uh, the dot. So from at the hip line here i'm going to mark two inches that that will stop about two inches uh, from the hip line and i'm going to connect to the half inches that i marked on either sides along the 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 waist line and also for the front that that will end one inch below this bust line but for the back it can go 
to where the bust line is and also connect the lines simply as you see me doing like that so i formed it that along the waistline so for the front just make sure it does not go go beyond the bust line i'll correct that as i'm cutting later so now guys i'm going to just divide the bust measurement by four which is 38 divided by four i get nine and a half plus one inch for that dart sewing up the dart plus the two inches as the side seam allowance and then i mark it down here along the chest line like this and after i'm going to divide the waist measurement which is 34 inches divided by four i get eight and a half then i have to add this that allowance that we took in then after i have to also add the one inch for take uh, for sewing up that dart and also the two inches which is the side seam allowance i'm using two inches because i'll be using lining so at the hip line the hip measurement is 46 inches divided by four whatever i get i add one inch for sewing up the dart and also the two inches that is the side seam allowance and i mark it down here so after here i'm just going to connect these points to form the shape of this jacket you can make this jacket by the way in any fabric of your choice as long as you make it a little bit firm so now i can just cut out only the side the neckline and along the shoulder make sure that uh, shoulder allowance is there so for the dart i'll cut it later after cutting uh, after forming my front piece so for the front guys remember we have one and a half inches as the button allowance the half inch by the way is for the turning the lining so it is just one inch but we are marking one and a half inches since we are marking directly onto the fabric so let me just rule it out this is the one and a half inches so i'm going to come here along the waistline the waistline is here so at the waistline i'm going to go up by one inch so this is optional you can go up by two inches or you can even leave it it, it depends on the design you're forming so that one inch i mark it this side here where the where the allowance the pattern allowance is then i connect from there to the neckline width which is the three inches we used for even the back so i just connect with a straight line you can curve it a little bit you can form any design of your choice and that is the front neckline so here i'm going to mark the nipple to nipple measurement half of the nipple to nipple measurement and i also get its midpoint and at that midpoint i'm going to connect in a curved manner like this just to form the shape uh, of my front piece along the hemline here but if you don't want it guys you can leave it out you can even just mark one inch away from the button allowance along the hemline and connect to this button break point there and then cut it out like this so now we formed our front pieces they are supposed to be two because we cut everything on fold so bringing back my back piece making sure it is aligning very well from the side here i'm going to mark just one inch going upwards and then curve it towards the center of this piece and cut that out and that is also optional but i just wanted to form that shape and now with all my pieces together front and back i cut out this shoulder dart like that so even this side i'm cutting the shoulder so i'm cutting this piece out 
that is not necessary where we formed the dirt along the waistline so i'm picking out the back pieces first and separate them and guys make sure you notch or you write or you mark your pieces so that you don't mix them up so this is the back this is how it's going to look like these are my back pieces you can even separate the center back into two if you want so make sure you mark them separately and after that guys off camera i went ahead and just duplicated all my pieces uh, on this cotton fabric it is black in color as you see and i formed linings for every piece for every piece so now also for the sleeve i have this piece that is folded into two like this the width is a low is what we used as the armhole measurement plus the allowance which was eight and a quarter plus the allowance so the full length is supposed to be 23 inches and i added just two inches as the uh, sewing allowance so here as i said it is eight and a quarter inches plus about I added about one and what two inches but that was not necessary I think one inch was enough so first I'm marking four inches which is the cups height in this case I used four inches half an inch will be as the sewing allowance at the top joining this sleeve onto the main body and i draw a diagonal line get its midpoint and just curve about half an inch on top here and from that midpoint half an inch below simple like that so here i just get the this wrist measurement divided by two whatever i get i mark it down so guys i'm so sorry my camera was not filming all that part but i just connected my points and cut out two sleeves just as you see here if you want a detailed uh, sleeve tutorial i'm just going to link it down below so don't worry and after the sewing i connected all my pieces starting from up along that uh, shoulder that and this is what it came about so i made notches because it is a little bit curved so that it lies flat like this if possible just go ahead at this point and iron everything out so this is my two front pieces already joined along the shoulder that and this is also the back so i joined from top going down the other side and also this other side and if you have any excesses just cut them off and these are my cotton lining pieces so this middle one ended up being a little bit longer but i'll just cut that off after cross checking that i have the correct measurement that i'm i'm working with so now i'm going to turn the lining with the main fabric i'll sew by half an inch along the neckline and also along the sides and all along the hemline to the other side and i will leave the armhole openings and even when it comes to the front pieces i'll just do the same right sides facing each other lining to the main piece like this and then i'll sew by half an inch along this center front and into the sides from the center front going to the hemline into the sides i leave the i leave the the armhole openings so this is what i have guys and after every sewing i make sure i cut small notches all along so that when i flip my piece out it comes out uh, neatly like this and at this point you, i just take it to the ironing table just that at this point there was no power at home so 
now this is what I have everything is finished very neatly as you see I like the outcome so now I'm just going to align right sides facing each other where it's supposed to be front to the back so that I join along the shoulder so I'll have to make sure that I pin it lining to lining main fabric to main fabric and I sew by half an inch even this other side this is how I put it making sure that at the center there they are aligning very properly and sew by half an inch like that and this is what I got so this is how it looks like very neat so uh, uh, on the inside you're not seeing any seams everything is just neat so now we have to uh, attach the sleeves onto uh, this jacket so this is the sleeve <coughs> i'll have to make sure that i notch the midpoint of the sleeve and pin it along the shoulder and then I'll sew by half an inch to either sides, that is front and back. And then I will just double fold along the hemline of the sleeve and sew. And then after I'll sew by one inch coming from the sleeve into the sides like that for either sides. I'll do the same even the other side and the jacket is now at this point will be finished then i'll just have to attach a button so if you have any questions don't hesitate to make a comment and this is what i have guys i love the outcome for real for real it is such a beautiful blazer no collar simple you can make it within two hours and you're good to go so what do you think guys so this is the button that i added off camera i hope you know how to add a button so that is it so this is how my jacket came about this is the back and guys i believe it is beautiful you also believe so you can rock it with some jeans with a black trouser with a black skirt with anything that matches thank you so much for watching